All right, guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I don't know if you guys love the way I've been shooting the last few videos, but I'm doing it because it's easy. I'm actually shooting this with my Samsung S9 Plus, and uh, the video turns out really well, uh, and I can upload from my phone, which is why I'm doing this, and you rarely get to see my face. I know you, uh, you're sad about that. Uh, so this is an 07 Avalanche. Obviously, the headlights are not in the best shape, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to sand with a thousand grit, then 3000 grit, then I'm going to polish them out and put on uh, some protection. So this is what the headlights look like now. The factory UV protection has failed and looks like crap. So I'm going to use my old school and this is the, the only thing I use this. I don't like to talk down about companies. This is a Grio Garage 3 inch. It's not worth much more than what I use it for and that's to sand headlights uh, it's really not my favorite it it lacks power yada 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 anyway I keep it around for a reason it does one specific job very well and that's what you're about to see so I'm gonna give the uh, camera girl the camera and now you get to see me <laughs> Yay! all right cool um, I'm gonna do this wet so I'm gonna I have water in this spray bottle, nothing fancy. Oh, you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself, I apologize. The one thing you need to do first, before you sand headlights, is masking tape. Mm. Always wanna tape up any areas you don't want to get damaged by the uh, sandpaper. So just follow your body lines or whatever um, and tape up your, your paint. That's the first rule of thumb to successful sanding is cover up any areas you don't want that sandpaper to hit because it will hit that area if you do not cover it up and you're going to be pissed if you ruin something. So there's that. I don't know. Sometimes I'll take a risk on that, but since this is my mom's car, we're going to go ahead and I'm just joking. I, I, I always tape it up. I was just <laughs> trying to make you laugh. <laughs> Um, here we go. Now, all that is good. This is good. She's all taped up. And I'm going to show you, uh, right after we're done with this headlight, I'm going to use this exact same tape on the other side. I'm not going to use new tape because it doesn't make any sense. Uh, unless you find that, you know, the corners aren't sticking because it got too wet or whatever, but... Um, I don't know that that's going to be the case. So now, first step, tape all, tape anything you don't want that sand sandpaper to hit. Second step, soak her down. I'm going to place that there. I'm going to start this thing on speed three and a half. Of attention to keeping your uh, sandpaper clean because that plastic and that gunk will definitely cake up your your pad there so we're just going to make sure we're keeping it all clean I've got an even sand on the whole thing and I'm going to go over it one more time I'm 
I always get off that um, all the gunk that's left on there is the plastic that you're cutting off. So medium pressure, I don't know, 15 to 20 pounds of pressure and medium speed just like you see me doing it. Because that top section was so bad, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to hit that top section one more time. job of removing all that gunk got my pad clean now wipe it all off and you'll notice that we've got some permanent damage from the Sun cracking it's cracking up the Lexan but the most important thing about this job we're doing right now is getting cleared up so now you pull off your 1000 grit we'll put on our three th well look at that Oh my. Trash that. Hmm. Alright, cool. So we're gonna cut and come right back. Alright, so we're back at it. And uh as you saw before my backing plate fell apart. That's it all over the ground there. So I'm gonna use some three thousand grit sandpaper by hand. Okay. So when you're sanding, you want to go in a cross-hatching motion, motion, which means side to side, and then up and down. So this 3000 grit is going to refine the finish from the sanding scratches of the 1000 grit. It's going to make the scratches shallower, basically. And all that white stuff is material that you've removed. So now you want to get it out of your way. So that when you sand again, you're in good shape. And so we're just trying to file down those 1000 grit sanding scratches so they're not as noticeable. Um, we're not going for per perfection on this because we all know, everybody who follows me knows, perfection is not reality. So I'm going to give this one more. Wow. <laughs> I just hear wow. Yeah. All right. So yeah, it's definitely getting noticeably clearer mm -hmm. uh, with the finer sanding scratches, but... I'm going to go behind it. Actually, what I'm going to use is my brand new VOC free and water based uh, finishing polish. This stuff is amazing. And uh, we'll go from there. All right. Um, I just got to go grab the polish real quick and then we'll come back and that'll be that. All right, we'll be right back. All right, it's the third and final clip I'm gonna splice together. This is a sample of my brand new finishing polish. Of course. Uh, you can see that the uh, finish there is not very uh, clear. It's very spotty, but now, I'm going to show you an amazing situation. First of all, 
chunk. Let me see. Should have been wearing it the whole dang time. This is my cord control clip. Goes right here. Hold your cord. Yep, I designed that four or five years ago. Keeps the cord from falling off your shoulder. It's pretty awesome. Mm. Anyway, here we go. I'm gonna speed five it. Four. Hang tight, inspect mm. while I grab a towel. So, one of the issues here is that this headlight has some real deterioration from the sun on it, but I'm gonna hit it one more time with the polish and uh, we should be in good shape with clarity anyway. Again with the cord control clip situation. Spread it around real good. I'm running on speed four right now. Medium pressure. As they say is that because I don't believe there's any more we could do that is actually going to be produ productive with these headlights wow. they got a little bit of scratches they got a little bit of bug etchings they got a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of deterioration right here that are is all the way through the Lexan but I'd say that's pretty clear what do you say mom I think it's clear yes great job so I'm happy 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 this one is not so clear, and you can see all the deterioration oh, here. Scary. That's great. Oh, my She's excited. <laughs> and then we have this one that's mm. back to almost new, with exception of that. that drama right there. So that is how I recommend you sand headlights if you're gonna if you're gonna do really bad ones like this. That's super super yellow and all of the deterioration is super deep love bug etchings cracks all that stuff if you're going to do something that's this bad i definitely re recommend machine sanding if you can however you i could have done this by hand no problem uh just sand with a thousand grit get the bulk of the deterioration off and the the grime and whatever's on there um and then three thousand grit you saw me do by hand i would have done that with a machine because these are all flat and nice and very easy to get all of the uh, areas sanded with machine uh, it is a little bit easier on some of the headlights with more contours to use uh, your hands but you are going to be a little bit more aggressive with your hands with the same grit uh, than you will with a machine with with you know the same grit so anyway that's it
I'm going to go ahead and knock the other one out and then I'll bring you back. I'm actually going to pull this tape off and try to reuse it all on the other side so that I don't have to waste a bunch of tape. But that has been headlight restoration with sanding. And then, uh, like I said, I use just my currently unreleased fantastic finishing polish for that. So I'm going to keep rocking and rolling and get the other one done. We'll be back to show you the finished product on both sides. All right, guys, this is the grand finale. That headlight is super duper clear now. I sanded it by hand with a thousand grit um, everywhere, but I did it twice in this area here where all the bulk was and then where that line was. I sanded it by hand with a thousand grit. Then I sanded it by hand with 3000 grit. And this is the end result. Super clear, looking a great, looking awesome. Uh oh, you got me. Boys and girls, do this at your own risk. Do not try this at home. I did not tape that side. I know, I know, shame on me. But I have been doing this for years. It doesn't change the fact that accidents happen. However, took a little bit more risk, I guess, because it's my mom's car. Got all those bugs. Anyway, that one's super clear. Look, love bugs. If you guys don't know what love bugs are, they are those things right there that fly around. And they do what looks to be like fornicating while they fly. And those bugs are nasty. They leave all this crap on your bumper and the front of your car. The van has all kinds of love bugs on it too from a trip I did yesterday. But it's all over the windshield. I mean, they just splatter all over the place. It's gross. All over the bumper. But anyway, headlight restoration complete. My mom is very happy. I'm going to slap some Ceramacrylics Pro Hybrid coating on here. Call them a day. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to kill these guys. Die! Maybe not. They got away. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. 813-846-4406 is my cell phone number if you need me. If you want to check out my products, you can find them at detailjuice.com. Uh, this new... Uh, finishing polish I just used to apply or to uh, clear these headlights up is pretty amazing. Uh, we're looking at October 15th ish 2018 for a release date on that. We shall see the ceramic acrylics pro hybrid coating is currently live on the site detailjuice.com and it is available to the public. You don't need no stupid professional detailer certification to use it. And I guarantee it to be equally as good or better than any of the other heavily hyped coatings on the market. Thanks so much for listening to me, Matt Babble. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what Gary Dean has going on. Thanks, guys, for watching and listening to me babble. Have a great day.